from KTIV, Schoolands News Channel. This is News 4 at 6. We've been waiting for this for too long. There's family members that have been waiting for the remains of these kids to come home for 142 years. Uh, so maybe this is the start of uh, uh, some healing. The unearthed remains of nine Native American children who died more than a century ago are now on their way home to South Dakota. Good evening, yeah. everyone, and thanks yeah. for joining us. I'm Matt Breen. Stella will be back on Monday. Those children died while attending a government-run school in Pennsylvania. Starting in the 1870s, Native American boys and girls, like the Lakota Sioux at the Rosebud Indian Reservation in South Dakota, were shipped across the country to schools like the Carlisle Industrial School. Founded in 1879, Carlisle Indian Industrial School was the flagship Indian boarding school in the U.S. At the school, students were made to cut their hair, take European names, and assimilate to white culture. They were also punished for speaking their own language and adhering to their religious and spiritual beliefs. Efforts were made to westernize the children, effectively erasing their native identity. General Henry Richard Henry Pratt, one of the founders of Carlisle, said the school's goal was to, quote, kill the Indian, save the man. This is very triggering for a